Hello and welcome to this video in which we explain the concept of a confidence interval on the mean and then show an example of computing a confidence interval. The idea behind a confidence interval is the following. We have samples from a distribution and we don't know the mean of this distribution and we want to know what the samples tell us about the mean. A confidence interval is an interval that has a given probability of containing the actual mean of the distribution. It's computed from the sample mean which we'll denote as x bar. So this is going to be the average of the samples that we have. The standard deviation of the distribution, which we denote as sigma, and the number of samples, which we'll denote as n. Associated with the confidence interval is a confidence level, and the confidence level is the probability that the interval will contain the true mean. And we typically express this as a percentage. So for example, we might have a 95% confidence level, which says that the probability that our confidence interval contains the true value of the mean is 0.95. And we, for computational sake, will represent this as an alpha of 0.05. So basically the idea is our confidence level expressed as a percentage is 1 minus alpha expressed as a percentage. A 99% confidence level would correspond to an alpha of 0.01. The formula for the confidence interval is the following. The lower limit of the confidence interval is given by x bar minus z alpha over 2, and I'll explain what that is in just a minute, times our standard deviation sigma divided by the square root of n. And our upper limit is x bar plus z alpha over 2 times sigma over the square root of n. z alpha over 2 is a value that's chosen so that the probability to the right of z alpha over 2 and to the left of minus z alpha over 2, so that these two probabilities are alpha over 2, which means that they sum to alpha. So let's compute a confidence interval. On this spreadsheet, I put the fictitious salaries of seven software engineers randomly selected from a software engineering staff of a company. And we want to find what these salaries tell us about the true mean salary of software engineers in the company. And we'll assume that the standard deviation of the salaries is $15,000. So I've somewhat arbitrarily decided that I want a confidence level of 99%, which means that my alpha will be 0.01. So the first thing we need to do is compute z alpha over 2. Now I'll correct that to make it clear that that is z alpha over 2. z alpha over 2 is given by norm sinv of 1 minus my value of alpha, in this case 0.01, divided by 2. So for this problem, z alpha over 2 is going to be 2.5758, etc, etc. x bar is the average of my samples, or equivalently the sample mean. So I compute that. Now I get my lower bound, x bar minus z alpha over 2 times sigma divided by the square root of n, where n is the number of samples, in this case n is equal to 7. And my upper bound is given by x bar plus sigma times z alpha over 2 divided by the square root of n, where again n is 7. So I've written the lower bound l and the upper bound u in the form of an interval. This is our confidence interval so we can say with a probability of 0.99 that in this case the mean of the distribution, which would be the overall average of salaries within the company, is between $64,511 and $93,718. So that concludes the video. I hope you found this helpful. Thanks for watching.